Welcome back if you're new to the channel. I'm Matt. You can follow me on Instagram here. Some of you have been wondering where you can follow me. It's right there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and continue working on the car. What we're gonna do today and start working on is the manifold. Mm, yes. Uh, so I was not able to kneel this aluminum and it broke. So change of plans, we're just going to cut this here and we'll just have to weld the whole thing up. Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and cut this other piece off and we'll just weld it up. We got her all nice and squared up. Let's go ahead and tack her in. Got her all tacked together and she's fitting up pretty decent. It's getting there. The only thing, because I did calculate that, you know, initially with bending this piece, I had a, a little extra on there in order to, to make this thing square. I did have to have this little bit of stick out, which isn't a big deal because we can just grind this down, put it on the belt sander, flatten it out as close as we can to this edge without just completely tearing up this top side of the manifold. But because it is sticking out a little bit, I think it will give me a better chance of actually bending this. And we'll use that torch to heat it up and we'll see if we can't bend it. change of plans it is bending however it's getting a little wonky on this side over here because there's really nothing to support what I'm bending on this side and it's kind of getting sideways a little bit so I etched a little mark here I'm just gonna cut it and then I'll take this piece and I'll weld it to this flange and hopefully that'll give me enough heat for it to where I can just gradually fold this thing over we'll have another weld line here but it is what it is I went ahead and trimmed that piece and then also the side. I went ahead and cut that down flush. Check this out. All right, now we can just mount this thing flush. We'll tack it here and hopefully the heat will be enough towards where we can just keep tacking it along the sides and bend it until it folds all the way back. And I nailed this thing pretty dang close without really scuffing the top of this intake up. So I'm pretty happy about that. So let's get after some more tacking. I got everything tacked up. My camera died on me, but it's looking pretty good. This gap was a little larger than I would like it to be, but not a big deal. We can always fill that in. So we got it tacked, we got it bent. I still need to get a couple pieces, piece to fill it in there and there as well. Went the lows. They didn't have any eighth inch aluminum, so we'll figure that out later, but we need to make sure that fits in place here and the throttle body is gonna clear just fine. So we need to get that intake off. I've got the radiator draining. We're getting all that water out and we'll get this intake manifold off and we'll start mocking up the rest of it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I got the intake out. There that ugly thing is. We'll still have to remove our map sensor. Now, obviously the wiring harness or the fuel injectors and then this evap canister thing, whatever that is. But look at all that room. So much room. I've got the flange mounted up. The transitions are much nicer. All the bolts go in. Did you just fart? Gross. <laughs> and then we'll have to shorten this down, which is part of the EVAP system. Not a big deal. And we'll cut the hard line here. Got a pipe cutter so we can do our custom line to the fuel rail. Only issue is because I winged the design, um, doesn't fit. And the problem I'm having is, is it wants to run into the brake lines right there before I can get these to properly line up. So I'm going to have to rethink the design of this. And I want to try and push this back as far as possible, get the longest runner length I can, and which you know, I'll, I'll give it a, a couple inches away from the firewall, which should give us about eight or nine inches of runner length. So we can just cut these tacks off of our flanges that we had CNC machined. And I don't know, I might do a center feed type thing, just to make it a little easier so I'm not trying to run the boost charge pipe and trying to squeeze a throttle body right where this mess is at. I could have the boost pipe come up. We'll, we'll shorten this. Uh, one of the things is there was this hose here that went to the throttle body all the way on the other side. I guess just to warm it up, or excuse me, it went from here to the throttle body back here. So I think we'll just cut it here, make a little bit of a, a support between these two, get rid of this, put a soft line, either going to here. Yeah, it sounds good to me. <laughs> I think we'll just cap that off. And I'm thinking we can have the boost pipe come up, kind of turn, have the throttle body right here. I probably wouldn't have to lengthen the, or, or do anything crazy with the harness for the throttle body if we have it up here somewhere. And it would be a lot easier to run the tubing to. It just seems like it'd be a lot easier instead of having to kind of work around all this crap. So it would just kind of come up to the plenum, but I'll have to rethink the design. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. I appreciate y'all tuning in. It's a lot of figuring out concepts and all that stuff be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe until next time peace out with your peace out